In this Chief Architect X15 What's New video segment, I'm going to show off our new design-oriented features. Let's begin by looking at our new Live Material List and Report Generation feature. When material lists were generated for plans in X14 and prior, they were static lists, meaning that if the model changed, the material list would need to be rerun. These lists are now live and continually change as your plan changes. If you move a wall or rebuild the foundation, the list updates. Notice the increase in the amount of concrete. If you insert a door or window into the model, the materials list updates. When you enter pricing for a line item, it will be retained the next time you open the list. If you need to save a snapshot of the materials list, that can be done with a report. The report will look similar to the live materials list. In this case, the color changed, and that can be customized. Once the report is generated, you will see it in the project browser. You can save off as many reports as your project requires. Reports are now static, and materials list are live in Chief Architect X15. The library browser has been redesigned to improve search, organization, and management of your content. Let's take a tour of the new design. At the top is the Filters panel. In Search, as you type, suggestions appear that you can select. Next to the Search is the option to include web results from the Chief Architect 3D Library, and then the Advanced Search option that will open an advanced panel for additional search criteria. The Filter selection allows you to choose from your filter list, and below are the active items in your search. To the right is a history navigation, forward and backward. When a search result shows an item you have not downloaded from the 3D library, the icon will be different. A right-click provides the option to download the item. The system will prompt you to log in if you are not already. Similarly, as you place the item, the system will prompt you to download. The Folders panel is similar to X14 with the addition of the refresh notification for folders that have an update available. With a right click, you can update the folder. In the Filter panel are the results from the search or a folder. You can control the display to be in list or tile views. In the Toolbar panel, settings control which panels to display. When I add the Tags and Detail panels, they are added to the library browser. These can be minimized or closed. Once closed, you can re-add them through the settings. Tags are a new way for searching an organization. Items can be tagged as a favorite for quick access, and tags can be managed for creating additional categories for library management. 3D solids that you have created can be added to the library browser for reuse in the future, such as this shower spa lounge. Snapping and elevation views is more granular. For symbols, such as this shower head, you can now snap to all the edge lines, making it easier, in this case, to relocate the centerline dimension to the water source. A display coordinate access and project origin location is available in plan, elevation, and 3D perspectives. In the preferences, you can define the settings for the coordinates by view type and control the display properties. These coordinates can be accessed through the View menu, and you can customize your toolbar or set up hotkeys to toggle their display. The dialog size and position can be independently defined between sessions in your user preferences. Images and PDFs that are imported will be assigned to the Picture PDF Boxes layer by default. In this elevation, when I import this detail PDF, you will see it's assigned on the picture and PDF layer, making it easier to differentiate. Labels for PDFs, pictures, and CAD blocks are available and default to the object or file name. The label can be customized on the label panel for the object. You can select multiple rows in the Time Tracker's log table to edit or delete entries. For convenience, it enables efficient group editing. 
In the Room Specification dialog is a new Room Information category that includes dimensions, perimeter, area, and volume. If multiple rooms are selected, it will include information for that grouping of rooms. A Replace Fonts tool is available to change font types. In the Edit menu, select the fonts to replace and the replacement font. The program will make that substitution throughout your plan or layout. Symbol-based objects, like appliances or fixtures, have had two different dialogues, Symbol and Object, to manage that item. These were merged and consolidated into the Open Object dialog, where you can access all of the settings for that item. Now you can navigate from a single location and then to the different panels to make adjustments. There are several great new features in Chief Architect X15, and you can expect to see it this spring. And remember, all new software purchases include support and software assurance. So, if you're not currently a customer, get started today with Chief Architect. <laughs>